What if I told you that Cialis, a drug known for its use by elderly men to strengthen their erections, is actually one of the most potent health enhancers for men on the planet? Most guys are embarrassed at the thought of even using it, but Tadalafil, as it's officially called, is not just erectile dysfunction medication. Not only does it help with blood flow for erections, but this ED medication can literally prolong stem cell life, which can give your body the ability to regenerate almost any tissue, even if they normally won't heal. For example, one guy had a foot wound that would not heal for 20 years until he started Tadalafil. Tadalafil is useful for improving the function of the heart after an ischemic injury such as a heart attack, and has been shown to result in a 13% lower incidence of major cardiovascular events, 25% lower mortality, and 39% lower cardiovascular related mortality compared to a control group in patients who had at least one cardiovascular disease risk factor. Tadalafil also enhances muscle growth and enhances bone strength through its ability to increase testosterone and upregulate androgen receptors. Tadalafil helps to reduce symptoms of benign prostatic hyperplasia by improving the testosterone to estrogen ratio, relaxing smooth muscle in the prostate and bladder, and improving blood flow, which can reduce symptoms like frequent urination and slow urination. Tadalafil can reduce blood pressure and improve endothelial function, thus lowering the risk of cardiovascular disease through regulating endogenous antioxidant production and dilating arteries, which can help prevent a blood clot from forming. Many people take aspirin to help prevent blood clots, and this works by thinning the blood, but the downside to this is that it can increase brain bleeds from trauma. Tadalafil doesn't thin the blood, it just dilates arteries, which could potentially make it a safer option, but it can still cause side effects if you use it incorrectly. So by the end of this video, you will learn how to use Tadalafil most effectively and an incredibly powerful synergistic combination you can use with it to get more healing power. My name is Brennan Henry, the world's leading expert in peptide science. I was the first person to make a video on the incredible power of the Vesugin peptide for enhancing the proliferation and differentiation of mesenchymal stem cells and delaying their senescence. This is huge because stem cells cost tens of thousands of dollars, but this peptide can increase your own naturally for a small fraction of the price of stem cell clinics. This can lead to the acceleration of healing in your body. Whether you have an organ that's damaged, a joint, muscle, or recently undergone a surgical procedure, this will help you heal more quickly. And you can get even more benefits out of it by combining it with Tadalafil. This protocol can work well on its own, or it can be used to enhance the effects of stem cells you receive at the clinic. I currently have a client who purchased my Peptide Mastery course in coaching, link in the description, and he is looking to maximize the potential of a stem cell treatment at the clinic. So this is of course one of the things included in our protocol and just one example of how traditional medications or supplements can synergize with certain peptides in ways that are not known by the majority of the people on the planet. In this video, I want to talk about what Tadalafil is and how it works on the mechanistic level so that you can understand the benefits it has to offer more clearly and be more willing to confidently use it to enhance yourself. Then I will tell you how to best use it and dose it so that you get all of the benefits without any toxic effects. First, Tadalafil is a PDE5 inhibitor that prevents the breakdown of CGMP, which enhances blood flow by promoting vasodilation. While it doesn't create CGMP directly, which requires nitric oxide, it helps increase CGMP levels by stopping its degradation. However, PDE5 inhibitors have some crosstalk with PDE8, which are high affinity C-AMP specific enzymes, leading to increased nitric oxide production indirectly. This crosstalk is significant because without it, these inhibitors would be much less effective because they'd have less nitric oxide to work with. Tadalafil's attributes extend to stimulating endogenous antioxidant production in muscle cells, cavernous tissue, and lung endothelial cells. This effect is due to hormesis, which is the body's upregulated production of endogenous antioxidants in response to a mild stressor, leading to a net protective effect. Evidence of this is seen in lung endothelial cells, where Tadalafil, by activating the CGMP PKG1 pathway, enhances cellular antioxidant defenses protecting against oxidative stress-induced damage. This leads to improved endothelial function in humans. Tadalafil also reduces the risk of thromboembolism, which is blood clots in males. Getting further into the mechanistic data, PDE5 inhibition increases CGMP levels, which stimulates PKG1 and also leads to an increase in androgens. PKG1 and PKG2 mediate the effects of CGMP, and Leydig cells express mRNA for both. However, inhibiting PKG leads to a dose-dependent decrease in androgen production, indicating that PKG is necessary for the CGMP-driven rise in androgens. When Tadalafil activates CGMP-PKG1, it phosphorylates the star protein, enhancing the transport of cholesterol into mitochondria and increasing testosterone production in Leydig cells. PDE5 inhibitors also interact with PDE8, leading to an intracellular C-AMP increase in Leydig cells, further facilitating testosterone production. Mice with PDE8 knockout have up to four times more testosterone, 
Tadalafil has been shown to increase testosterone levels by an impressive 40% in men with metabolic syndrome over time. In a direct comparison with sildenafil, Tadalafil has been found to be superior in increasing testosterone. Tadalafil can also enhance the testosterone to estrogen ratio by inhibiting the aromatase enzyme, and it increases androgen receptor density while improving lean body mass. It has been shown in human studies that you can expect to gain a couple of pounds of lean mass and lose a couple pounds of fat from long-term Tadalafil use. Tadalafil improves bone strength and wound healing. It increases androgen receptors and decreases aromatase in osteoblast cell lines and was able to enhance fracture healing in a rat femur and improve bone density. Tadalafil also improves burn wound healing. Moving up to the brain, in elderly patients with erectile dysfunction, Tadalafil improves cerebral blood flow in the postcentral gyrus, precuneus, and brainstem, and enhances cognitive function, as assessed by the Montreal Cognitive Assessment Score. While it's uncertain if this effect occurs in younger men, Tadalafil has enhanced working memory in both young and old mice. Now let's get into how you should dose Tadalafil for maximum benefits and low side effects, even though its safety is well established. If you dose it too high, you may get occasional headaches, flushing, a stuffy nose, but there are two even worse side effects than that. One, muscle pain. Two, aortic damage and testicular toxicity. The muscle pain can occur because Tadalafil is a slight off target for PDE11 inhibition, which is known to cause muscle pain, especially back pain. At five milligrams, this effect of Tadalafil is barely relevant, but it becomes more relevant once you go up to 10 milligrams plus. The aortic damage can occur due to oxidative stress combined with too much dilation. You see, Tadalafil is a hormetic stressor, as mentioned earlier, and this is how it increases endogenous antioxidant production, and is consistently shown to be net protective at 5 mg human dosages. It's protective to the testes at these doses, as well in both humans and mice who received an equivalent dose converted for their species. However, if you look at rodent studies, you will see that at a 20 mg equivalent dose, that changes and starts to have a net toxic effect. MDA levels increase, which are markers of oxidative stress, and antioxidant levels drop. The same case would be true if you did HBOT for 15 hours a week, which is hyperbaric oxygen chamber therapy. Some is great, but once you cross a certain threshold, it becomes toxic. This also relates to how some people using Tadalafil mention a slight dip in sex drive over time. This can occur if they are taking too high of a dose, usually 10 milligrams plus, and it can happen for a couple of reasons. The first is that it can start to induce oxidative stress in some people as mentioned, and the second is that it can reduce estrogen levels with long-term use, and estrogen is important for libido. This is why you need to use no more than 5 mg a day and also monitor your blood work for your testosterone to estrogen ratio. But you need to request LCMS, MS, because this is the only accurate way to measure hormone levels. Doctors are mostly just concerned if something is within range, not if it's optimal. If your estradiol levels are near the low end of the range and your testosterone levels are mid-range or high range, then you may consider adding in something to raise your estradiol up. DHEA or Omnibol, which contains pregnenolone and DHEA, is great for this, and boron can help some people to a lesser extent and also raise free testosterone slightly. In conclusion, Tadalafil is a fascinating and underappreciated compound with uses in healing broken bones, chronic wounds, heart damage, and increasing testosterone levels. For the best results, for both blood flow and stem cells, consider combining it with Vesugin, a tripeptide with the sequence Liz Glue Asp. To learn more, get the Peptide Mastery Free Edition on my website, linked in the description. You can also get our free guide, Toxic Testosterone, which reveals the hidden dangers of the five most commonly recommended testosterone supplements, and what to do instead. This has been Brennan Henry, the world's leading expert in peptide science, and the first person to create a masterclass covering all 40 Covenson's peptides, and another 29 peptides in scientifically accurate and comprehensive depth. The course is continually expanding, and with each expansion comes a price increase, so if you're interested, you should sign up at the link in the description soon, since buyers get lifetime updates for free. Thanks for watching.